Fastly. It's F S L Y stock. This is a cloud computing service. It's a small cloud computing provider in SF. They do uh, you know cloud computing, security, streaming, and this is an interesting stock. Let's take a look. So let's do some let's do some uh, little fundamental check out here. We're on daily candles and we're getting some you know pretty boring action around 20 uh relatively flat we get this kind of gap move up and we get a gap fill here no big deal we get a double top here down okay and then something here that's pretty interesting might be uh, an uphill kind of w bottom shape which could potentially be a new bull market trend line in this direction here and that is a steep that's a steep uh, bull market line if that's happening and of course this parabolic move is kind of crazy this is a gapped parabolic jump here and so let's uh let's swing through the cycles and see what we look like here let's go well weeklies won't show anything it's too new so yeah, we're on the daily candles here, and this is bullish and looking to stay bullish up here. And I mean, potentially we had a max divergence here, but this thing doesn't look anywhere near turning over, and it is bullish and getting more bullish. And then let's kind of just trim down the cycles and see what we get. Okay, so we're so you're pushing up on the edge of the Bollinger Band and hitting it again and kind of trending over. Okay, so it's turning a little bit and we're getting uh, bull territory and we're converging uh, possibly for a move down in bull territory, which would, uh, we'd be looking for a bull side bounce for the bulls or a, or a crossover to the bottom side for the bears here. And it's just kind of staying up there. Okay. And it wants to go up more. It's staying bullish on the two. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's staying bullish. And staying bullish and possibly pulling up. And then we're getting into the sort of weekly timelines here. And it has, yep, it has stayed on the bull side and turned up again on the bull side. This is a really bullish chart and a really high up angle trend and yep all the cyclicals and the fundamentals all look bullish on every level here and uh, this thing looks like it's taken off and so on the general s p let's get back out to the dailies and take a look at the the whole cycle of the s p and how this thing's responding uh, let's just go ahead and, and get the S&P in here and see how the, uh, the S&P waves are affecting this. Okay, so this, this down move here is with the, huh, okay. Yeah, so th this entire, this entire move down is is the dead cat and the drawdown of the whole S&P here. And then sort of the bull. Ooh, okay, interesting. So yeah, this this kind of bull run is right in line with the general S&P. So this thing is responding pretty, pretty well to the credit construction cycle. And now that the S&P is kind of flattened out, this thing has just done a parabolic jump. And if we get a turnover in the S&P towards downward movement here on the cycle level, hmm, it should affect this stock and pull it down. And so we have we have all the cyclicals and fundamentals of this specific stock looking super bullish and wanting to push up even farther on the daily, I guess, uh, for sure. Like over the next couple of days or the next trading week, it looks really bullish. 
Um, but then we've got the S&P that may want to pull down. And this thing has been exposed to the S&P pull down so far. And uh, so that's definitely something to watch out for if the S&P starts coming down, uh, how it might affect Fastly. And see if these patterns kind of top and start to turn over sometime uh, this week. And if they want to stay bullish or if they want to switch down to the bear side. Now, this is a pretty aggressive uh, parabolic jump here. And these kind of gaps are vulnerable to getting filled later, uh, just like this one did here. So, so I mean, we could be running up to another kind of another kind of bullish chop and filling a gap that's possible, or we could be actually taking off here on a new long-term trend line. Um, and this is one of the companies, I checked out their balance sheet and they had a good financial report relative to most things. Um, their cash was 20 and their current liabilities was about 40. Uh, so they're behind on cash, but their accounts was like 40 and increasing. Um, so they're making more money now than they were. One of the few companies that's actually doing more business now. Uh, than previously, and it's a new company that's building rapidly. So maybe there's a, a decrease in the expected growth, but uh, it's still a, an overall increase in business. And their total assets, uh, all their cloud computing equipment to their liabilities is way bigger. It was like 240 to 60 or something like that. So their assets liabilities is way positive. Their accounts look okay. Cash on hand is not uh, huge. I mean, compared to current liabilities to the balance sheet, looks better than most companies. This is a small San Francisco cloud computing company. And so right now everything looks bullish and the downside risks would be uh, to fill this gap is really the only thing that we have to work with. But uh, if we do have a new trend line here, uh, this, this uh, may not be a W bottom. This may just be a run up that happened during the S&P uh, bull run here. And so I don't know if this is really a good line to look at, but that's that's kind of the, the action area is, yeah, this kind of trajectory and this gap and sort of downside area here to look for. And then on the upside, just uh, checking these fundamentals and make sure they stay bullish and don't start turning over. But right now it looks bullish and that is Fastly. And this is not investment advice. And please hit the please hit the like button to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, this stock's not going to go in some sort of important playlist. Um, but if you want financial education, you can check out the financial education playlist. And then yeah, kind of these random random stock looks. Uh, there is a playlist for these, but um, not a big deal probably to check out that playlist. And yeah, and oh yeah, I made a couple more playlists. I have some, um, the health situation playlist with companies working on developing tests uh, for testing the health situation. And then uh, the oil tankers and oil energy stocks, I've made a playlist for that. So I'll try to get some, some playlists going with some uh, smaller kind of sectors that are getting really hot. And this might be a good area as well. These kind of small tech stocks that are that are sort of breaking trend and they're they're bullish when other things are bearish uh could be a could be a good kind of sector to look at these kind of small tech companies that are just starting up now and don't have the insane amount of debt and all that and so that is the outlook on fastly and happy trading